Hey, Shalom, Israel, Mosiah, Christ, Bless. Hey, this is 15 minutes with the captains. I'm Captain Oshaya. Shalom, Officer Gidron. Hey, and today's topic is Dissecting Christianity Part 5, Peter and the Strangers, man. We're going to open up the Bible and we're going to see who is these strangers that Peter was writing to. Christianity say these strangers is talking about everybody. Everybody can be saved. But we're going to open up the Bible to you. Today we're going to show you who those strangers are. Let's get 1 Peter 1 and 1. Read. 1 Peter chapter 1 and verse 1. Peter, an apostle of Jesus Christ, to the strangers scattered throughout Pontus, Galatia, Cappadocia, Asia, and, Bith and Bithynia. Read. Elect according to the foreknowledge of God the Father. So he said these strangers right here that he write to is elect according to the foreknowledge of God the Father. According to the foreknowledge of God the Father. Let's see what the foreknowledge is first of all. Let's see who did God foreknow. Read uh, Romans chapter 11 verse 1. The book of Romans chapter 11 and verse 1. I say then, have God cast away his people? Have God cast away the Israelites? Read. God forbid. That means no. Read. For I also am an Israelite of the seed of Abraham, of the tribe of Benjamin. So Paul said he was an Israelite of the seed of Abraham of the tribe of Benjamin. Read. God has not cast away his people which he foreknew. His people which he had foreknew. So the elect according to the foreknowledge of God the Father is talking about his people who he foreknew. Read on. Woe ye not what the scripture said of Elias. So that's it right there. Go right back to 1 Peter 1 verse 2. 1 Peter chapter 1 and verse 2. Elect according to the foreknowledge of God the Father. So let's see who is an elect according to the foreknowledge of God the Father. Get Isaiah 45 verse 4. The book of Isaiah chapter 45 and verse 4. For Jacob my servant's sake and Israel mine elect. Israel is the elect according to the foreknowledge of God the Father. That's why the scriptures say, give me Isaiah 28 verse 9. And some of y'all still going to sober after this. Some of y'all still want all nations to be saved. But these strangers that Peter was writing to was elect according to the foreknowledge of God the Father. And the only way you can go to the foreknowledge of God the Father, you got to go into the Old Testament. A lot of y'all say, oh, no, we don't read the Old Testament writings no more. The Old Testament is done away with. No, the Old Covenant of Sacrifice is done away with. You still got to keep the dietary law. You still got to keep the ceremonial law. You still got to uh, keep the moral laws. You still got to keep the civil law. The only thing you have to keep is the sacrificial law. Read. Isaiah chapter 28 and verse 9. Whom shall he teach knowledge? Whom will the Lord teach his knowledge? Read. And whom shall he make to understand doctrine? That's why you don't understand the writings of Paul. That's why you don't understand the writings of Peter. That's why you don't understand the four gospels in the New Testament. Let's see why. Read. Them that are weaned from the milk. Because you ain't weaned from the milk. You ain't born again. And you're not born of God. Because it's not in God's nature to continue, in, uh, it, it is not in God's nature to sin. So if you're born of God, it won't be in your nature to break his commandments, read. Them that are weaned from the milk and drawn from the breast. For precept must be upon precept. So to get the understanding of the scriptures, precept must be upon precept. Precept upon precept, line upon line, line upon line. Here a little and there a little. You can't go by your own understanding. You got to go here a little and there a little. So you want to know who the elect, according to the foreknowledge of God the Father is, you got to read the Bible precept upon precept, line upon line, here a little, there a little. You got to be born again. You got to come back as a baby. You got to get Christianity out of your head. These strangers that Peter that was writing to were the Israelites. They were strangers from the covenant of promise. Let's go right back to what we was at. First Peter. First Peter's one verse two. First Peter chapter. Not at one again. First Peter chapter one and verse one. Peter, an apostle of Jesus Christ, to the strangers scattered throughout Pontus, Galatia, Cappadocia, Asia, and, B and Bithynia. Read. 
Elect. These strangers were elect. Who is the elect? Israel, my elect. Read. Elect according to the foreknowledge of God the Father. According to the uh, Old Testament rites. Read on. Through, the, through sanctification of, of the Spirit unto obedience. Who did the Lord sanctify, uh, uh, sanctify of the Spirit unto obedience? Let's get Leviticus chapter 20. Now you got to go back to the foreknowledge of God the Father. Read. Leviticus chapter 20 and verse 7. Read. Sanctify yourselves. Sanctify yourselves. You Israelites, sanctify yourselves. Read. Sanctify yourselves, therefore, and be ye holy. And be holy. Read. For I am the Lord your God, and you shall keep my statutes and do them. God said, you Israelites, you blacks. Hispanics and Native Americans, you should keep his statutes and do them. Read. I am the Lord which sanctify you. He said, I'm the Lord which sanctify you. I'm the Lord which sanctify you of the Spirit unto obedience. Read. For everyone. That's it. I'll keep going. That's it right there. It. So he said, I'm the Lord that sanctify you. Go right back to what we was at. First Peter chapter 1. Try that verse 1 again. I just like reading verse 1. Read. 1 Peter chapter 1 and verse 1. Read. Peter, an apostle of Jesus Christ, to the strangers scattered throughout Pontus. To the strangers scattered throughout Pontus. Read. Galatia, Cappadocia, Asia, and Bithynia. Read. Elect. These strangers was elect. Read. According to the foreknowledge of God the According Father. According to the Old Testament writings, the foreknowledge of God the Father. Read. Through sanctification of the spirit unto obedience. Who did he sanctify of the spirit unto obedience? The Israelites. The Israelites, read. And sprinkling of the blood of Jesus Christ. And they say the blood of Jesus Christ is on everybody. Let's get there to Matthew 26. Let's see who the sprinkling of blood of Jesus Christ is on. The book of Matthew chapter 27 and verse 24. Read. When Pilate saw that he could nothing, he could prevail nothing, but that rather a tumult was made. So the Jews made a tumult against Pilate, read. But that the rather a tumult was made, he took water and washed his hands before the multitude, saying, I am innocent of the blood of this just man. You hear that? Hey, the white man said, I'm innocent of the blood of Jesus Christ. I don't want nothing to do with the blood of Jesus Christ. Read. See ye to it. Then answered he all said, look, y'all Jews, you see you to it. Do what you want to do. Read. Then answered all the people and said, his blood be on us and our children. His blood be on us and our children. That's what the Israelites said. His blood be sprinkled on us and our children. Because I'm going to show you something. Go to Hebrews chapter 9 real quick. And let's get verse 18. The book of Hebrews chapter 9 and verse 18. Matter of fact, start at verse 14, uh, 15 first. Verse 15. And for, this and for this cause, he is the mediator of the New Testament. Christ is the mediator of the New Testament. Read. That by means of death. That by his death. For the redemption of the transgressions that were under the first testament. He died for to redeem them of the transgressions that was under the first testament. Who was under the first testament? The Israelites. This proof, this destroys Christianity by itself. It's over with. Christianity is over with. His death was for the redemption of the transgressions that were under the first testament. If they weren't under the first testament, Christ didn't die for them. Read. That were under the first testament. They which are called. They which are called. Who was called by God? The Israelites. <laughs> My, hey, hey, I don't know what's wrong with these Christians, bro. I don't know either. I don't know what's wrong with. Read the Bible, read on. They which are called might receive the promise of eternal inheritance. Read on. For where a testament is, there must also necessity of the death of the testator. Read. For a testament is of the is, is of no force. It's a force. For a testament is a force after men are dead. When Christ died, this when the New Testament came into full force. Read. Otherwise, it is of no strength at all while it's the testator living. Read. Upon 
upon neither the first testament. Read verse 18 again. Whoa. Whereupon neither the first testament was dedicated without blood. The first covenant wasn't ded dedicated without blood. Read on. For when Moses had spoken every precept to all the people according to the law, Read. he took the blood of calves and of goats with water and scarlet wool and hyssop and sprinkled both the book and all the people. You see that he sprinkled both the book and all the people. That's the first coming. Let's keep going. Now remember we just read in uh, 1 Peter 1 what it said, and sprinkling of the blood of Jesus Christ. Read on. Verse 20, saying, this is the blood of the testament. This is the blood of the Old Testament, read. Which God hath joined and joined unto you. Read. Moreover, he sprinkled blood, both the tabernacle, he sprinkled with blood, both the tabernacle and all the vessels of the ministry. Read on. And almost all things by, are by the law purged with blood. And without, and without shedding of blood, is no remission. It's no remission. Verse 23. Verse 23. This is what I wanted. It was therefore necessary that the patterns of the things of the heavens should be purified with these. But the heavenly things themselves with better sacrifices than these. You see that? So that same pattern. Christ's blood is sprinkled upon the Israelites. Just like Moses took the blood of bulls and goats and sprinkled upon the Israelites. Go right back to 1 Peter 1. First, First Peter 2, chapter 1 and verse 2. Elect according to the foreknowledge of God. So we know who these strangers are. They elect according to the foreknowledge of God, really. Of God the Father, through sanctification of the Spirit unto obedience. We know who the Lord sanctified of the Spirit unto obedience now, read. Really. And sprinkling of the blood of Jesus Christ. The white man didn't want nothing to do with the blood of Jesus. And we read according to Hebrews 9 and 15 that he died for the transgression of those that was under the first testament. The same pattern that had to be followed with Moses, the sprinkling of the blood of bull of goats, Christ's blood had to be sprinkled upon the Israelites. Read on. Grace unto you and peace be multiplied. Now, just in case y'all still say, no, man, he butchered the scriptures, the scriptures. He jumped from here. He jumped from there. Go to 1 Peter 2, verse 9. Let's see who these strangers are. Read. 1 Peter chapter 2 and verse 9. But ye are a chosen generation. Who was a chosen generation? Deuteronomy 76, the Israelites. Read. A royal priesthood. And holy nation. Who was a royal priesthood and holy nation? Exodus 19, verse 6. The Israelites, read on. A peculiar people. Who is God's peculiar people? Deuteronomy chapter 14, verse 2. The Israelites, read on. That you should show forth the praise of him. Who's supposed to show forth the praise of him? The Israelites. Isaiah 43, 21 and verse 22. Read. Who have called you out of darkness into his marvelous light. But keep going though, just in case y'all didn't get it, read on. Which in times past, ye were not a people. Who was not a people? Remember Hosea 1 and 10, when God said, you are not my people, read on. But are now the people of God. Read. Which had not obtained mercy, but now have obtained mercy. Get that on uh, in Hosea 1 and 10 real quick, and then I'm gonna wrap it up, just in case. So now y'all know for sure who these strangers is. I've stayed in the book of Peter for you. I've tried to show you precept upon precept. So look, if you try to go around this right here, you the devil. The Bible speaks of. You blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans need to repent. Read. Hosea chapter 1 verse 9. Then said God, call his name, lo, and me. Read. For ye are not my people. Ye are not my people. Who he talking to? The Israelites. Read. And I will not be your God. Read. Verse 10. Yet the number of the children of Israel shall be as the sand of the sea, which cannot be measured or numbered. And it shall come to pass that in that place where it was said unto them that ye are not my people, you Israelites are not my people, read. There it shall be said unto them, ye are the sons of the living God. With that, y'all, this is another 15 minutes with the captains. We say shalom. Shalom.
so hard to serve God And why would I say that I'm a Jew with sound art? For years I've been walking around saying that I'm a black man I ain't saying that no more, it's our man This is Bishop Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ Please subscribe to our YouTube channels Stay up to date with our latest events, music, and classroom lessons. IUIC plans to continue visiting different countries where this gospel has not been preached before. IUIC needs your help in pushing this truth. So join us, subscribe to our Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and podcasts, and stay up to date with us. For more information, please visit www.israelunite.org.